and we move to overpass. What do you expect, Sean? Can we have expectations at this point? Is that a thing we can have? I think so. I think Cloud9 can run a double op setup. Tim can opt the B site. Mixwell can opt the A site. I think I'm confident in Cloud9 CT side. Daps was always comfortable in energy calling on T side. This was like their home map. So I think, I mean, if things just hit the, you know, like S hits the wall, all right? Yeah. I think they can have some backup plans he can call on the fly. A lot better than what we saw in the last two maps. I'm going to try it on. No. It's a great watch, man. I, I love this watch. I think Cloud9 is safe. You think Cloud9 is safe? Yes. I think, I think that Overpass is the kind of map where they can play more to their strengths yeah. than suffer the way they did on Dust2. So I want to lean towards that being a thing. Again, I still like, yeah, we've seen two games of singularity, but I haven't seen like 20 games of singularity or 10, yeah. even 10 games. So I still don't know what to expect from them from map to map. Um, so I don't know. I just like, I I'm not confident in, in yeah. either direction. I think 10s needs to show up. Yeah. This That's is like a big, big uh, point right now for Cloud9. And the cool thing with this map too is it's the most technical map on both halves, CT and T side. There's loads you can do and lots of demand. Whereas Dust 2 is really the opposite, I would say, in terms of how it looks strategically, tactically. So we'll see if Cloud9 can finish the job here against Singularity. We've got the P250 on Mixwell. He's looking for that push, but he'll still go down against Infinite. We've seen a good pistol or two from him. His debut on this was on this map on ECS. Get, got an ace on the B-bomb side. I'll never forget that one. Stella gets pushed back. Robbie from Graffiti. Lucky to do some damage. Everybody's in position here for the retake for Singularity already, and the bomb's not even down just yet, so that's not bad for them. And here comes the boost. It's I don't pretty, like that boost. Pretty predictable. Five on three. Yeah. Ah, oh, the balcony boost. I love myself a balcony boost. Can be really strong, but Tens uh, has issues on the site. They don't have the numbers. So he comes to join his teammates. There's one by the pillar, back of the head, and dead. And Cloud9 will lose the pistol to Singularity. Not the way they wanted to start, and surely frustration has to set in at this point. He just took an armor point by throwing that decoy at him. His 99 <laughs> oh armor. God. Oh my god. That's you really stupid. Absolute bastard. I wanna, that's cost him $1,650. Punch a hole in my monitor if someone did that to me. I'm yeah. so upset. <laughs> that stops him from... Uh, he's the like he's probably realized he's now. He's the opera as well. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so triggering. <laughs> that stops oh him god. from buying a rifle. <laughs> if I had armor, he's going to buy it anyway. Armor. He, he's, no, he's, 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 he's triggered. He's keeping it. He's, he's triggered. He's triggered. He's, triggered. he's so triggered right now. He has M4 no head armor. <laughs> it's okay, Clown Line, only buy Creeks. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually That's such unbelievable. a... They, but they must know that they must... Which, I mean, no, you wouldn't do that, would you? Knowingly? Would you be that kind of a guy? No, so, no, it's just absent-mindedness. What kind of person would you be if you did that? On purpose. Oh, oh my... Goodbye. It's oh. Creek, baby. That's the scope. Pernalone not having a good time right now. Just very sadly moving into the <laughs> connector position. I just so badly wanted him to get like headshot. One shot by yeah. Galil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's terrible. Again, you get one kill, perfect armor. That's an M4. And a helmet. Unless your teammate throws a decoy at you. <laughs> All right, well, one minute to go, and Cloudline have a four versus four. They've got two smokes. Now they just have to pick a bomb site, and they've they got will a be good to go. At this point, I don't know, man. The MP9s close over range. Krieg. Close range. You're gonna, you're gonna tell me the MP9s are better than the, than the Kriegs? If Singularity forced them really close under the bomb site, find a good moment They're to They're not pounce. better. Then. They're not better. They're, They're not better. one shot. Now the MP9s come into play. All right, let's see if your idea is true. That said, Daps doesn't have any Kevlar. He's he's taken an L and dropped a weapon, so this uh, may be a 50-50 in this respect. With tens on eight HP. We've got the uh, you can see tens hiding in plain sight, facing now, but he will get deleted. There isn't a kit for the CTs. That's an issue. I feel like. Pursuing. Pursuit is the probably the best idea here. And they will get deleted, so I guess I was right about the Kriegs being better than MP9s. The the well the, the what I was getting at is the MP9s have to you have to stop them in the close ranges where the MP9s actually are strong. 
But obviously they weren't in position. They were on the B-bomb site, unfortunately, for Singularity. That's not easy to achieve, that. To track and follow the spray. With the Krieg. Higher skill level there. And now we're in a driving seat. Cloud9 have won a second round instead of, the, instead of the first round. So they have a force buy to deal with. Then there's, an e then there's an eco. The loss bonus is in the bin for Singularity. So as long as you win the second one, it's okay to lose the first. I'm working a solid default right now. Vector control. Getting A control. Everything is good. All is well. All is not so well. Kusta dealing with the issues in the short B position. Automatic continues to harass. The forward smoke grenade. Oh, we've got a play on the way. There's a flashbang. He's completely blind and that's very nicely done by Singularity. Maybe a rifle to collect and in the meantime, Cloud9 will try to make inroads towards the A bomb site before the CTs have more time to react. Ponelo needs a headshot here with his scout. He's got to get a quick kill to make this doable. So just don't have the weapons. That's a fast kill, but it wasn't a headshot, but Kusta was weak already. Playing alone. Lose Robbie here. Spray from the Krieg is going to do the damage. Now it's been on the rotation. He wasn't able to pick up any of the weapons that were dropped around the map, so he might not be too much of a threat. But the CZ is very good. Finds the headshot immediately into Mixwell. So has bullets left, but Tenz has a timely peek. But four players will die for Cloud9. So that was expensive despite the win. However, obviously, Singularity don't have the ability to get anything going this round, so. I should yeah, recover should him. Take the full eco here. Man, that, that was a really close round. Ben actually read the situation correctly. He was holding the right side of the box, but you can see he doubted himself for a split second. You cannot doubt yourself. Five USPs in a flashback. They've made their way to the right site. The flash is not going to come in time, and there will be mass deletions and a razor in the short B position. Automatic flying around the corner, almost in god mode, just gliding so much. Would have been amusing if they would have actually just all died there because the Molotov was missed. <laughs> that would have been because that was clearly surprising. <laughs> the Kriegs, Sean, yes, are you a fan? The mass Krieg. The Kriegopolis. See, if I was on Cloud9, I would be worried that the nerf is coming. Like, you're doing all of this practice, and this gun is OP right now. I mean, they nerfed the AUG. Why would they not end up nerfing the Krieg? That's the only thing I would worry about. Well, it's not been working out super well for them in the series so far. And right now, it's not working out too well either. Stella with a triple. Out comes the USP. The flashbang is so... Beautiful and oh god, that Krieg's just sliding around. So they will be able to grab that one, but that rounds the corner. But the angle is held perfectly by Pone alone. As that hold was beautiful. The timing on these flashbangs from Singularity it has been quite nice. Yeah, they're, they're like small teamwork plays are working so well. It's very Swedish esque, using a lot of individual skill and just a couple team flashes, they're making things look so easy on their CT side. 3-2. Singularity are back. And so are the MP9s. Deep Molotov. HE's behind it from Singularity. That will normally slow down the Cloud9 side, but Tens is alone towards the 8 area for the time being. Pop Flash has not really... Oh, it's done some, actually. But uh, there's a lot of sound cues there, so should be easily avoided. Two kills with some assistance from Cloud9 in that connector position. I don't think that flashbang was the one there. Automatic trying to make a difference on the B-bomb site. Spots one in the water, we'll send the HE that way. Very nice damage, leaving Ben on 60. But Infinite's coming in from the back. Nice flank there, that's the bomb as well. Can I change my prediction? Ben just picked up an AWP. Well, back to Cloud9. What? No, you I You picked Singularity. No, I picked Cloud9. We all picked Cloud9. Yeah, we all picked Cloud9. Oh, uh, which game was it where <laughs> I was the only person who picked someone last game? 
<laughs> yeah, that was last. Oh, game. okay. I just expected more failure from you guys. Sorry. Sliggy picked singularity. He said they just had a boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> Connor boot camp Blomfeld. Ru <laughs> hashtag rush beat. <laughs> Pistols out for Cloud Nine. There has their T side come to an end. I wonder. As they've put on eco by singularity in round number six, moving to well round number seven. P9 still out for a Robbie. This is a moment where we could see the momentum really pick up for Singularity. What I'm looking to see is how adept Pone alone is in taking aggressive all plays, how dynamic he is around the map with it. Because now that if they win this round fairly clean, I think we'll start to see them with a more secured economy begin to play more aggressively. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely had the most impact with the AWP in the server so far this series. Yeah. Just peek. Looking for the good peek. I know they're there. Oh dear. Okay, pistol out. Okay, this is a problem. Whereas the rifle support at tens with the deagle takes down everybody on the bomb site, and the AWP is going to be collected for sure. And Mixels on that, so this is a huge issue. That plant on the Optimus. Okay, this is going a little bit wrong, isn't it? For Singularity, Stella has to get some damage in here at least. A couple kills, but he's getting tagged down. Oh, went wrong. They were maybe too conservative, Singularity. Really weird because. There was no rotate. And Ponalone jump spotted, he saw you know everyone pushing up sands, and normally a third player would be rotating towards the A site that would be able to protect one of his sides. And it just never came. I I'm not sure what setup they're running at the B site. But it's really weird considering you know, Cloud9 showed no pressure over there. They they could have had all the info in the world. That's a strange one indeed. Not a result you normally see with Glocks creeping. Kind of blind spot. Double HEs towards the sandbags, punishing the jump peaks. Seems there'll be a boost now. Very back and forth. Two AWPs though, for Singularity. This could still be very dangerous for them. Cloud9, lots of activity around the A bomb site. They've got the smoke in the front of toilets, but not the molly by divider. Pone alone still standing there with Ooh. the AWP, and Infinite will announce the first one in long. He also Help tagged them. Mixwell through tens. Oh dear, Pone alone with that rotation. Now Kusa's dead as well. That's what the Molotov's for. Part of the Team Liquid default. Automatic has to get value from this push to try to get some breathing room for Cloud9 in this round. Will he have a flash assist? There it is. Deep flash. Has the pick. Got to be really careful. Gets his bell rung. And there's Daps to help. He's going to get his bell rung as well. Look at the three of them. They are all pretty low and they are surely going to fall like dominoes in these choke points. 25 seconds. They don't have time to check everything. Singularity can play the bomb plant and Cloud9 will be forced to back away. Back and forth we go. Once again, now Singularity in the driving seat as they will win this round by timeout. Double Ops is an interesting uh, mix-up. We know Infinite can... can OP seems to be a very well-rounded well player. And Pone alone, we saw you know what he was able to do in that round. He did a lot of damage. Only got one kill, but of course got a critical tag on to mix well. So, you know, this will be really interesting now to see whether or not they can press the advantage of these double orbs. What would you like to see them do, Sean? Cloud9? Singularity. Oh, Singularity. I think they're just going to have the second op probably play the B site this round. Oh, they're, no, they're going to keep both ops in A. Wow, that's interesting that they're just going to keep doing that. It's not... It's difficult because they're rotated to B site. Managed to get through Monster before the smoke lands and they continue to charge. This should be a deletion. A nice way to change things up, keep it simple. 
after some slow rounds, th throw in a fast one. Singularity caught completely off guard, completely unprepared. And that should be the round over. They've got no money either, despite winning a round here and there. They're in a difficult spot. Both AWPs are live for now. The money's not really there for Cloudline, but maybe they'll invest one or two players in a hunt of some description. It's a good rush from Cloud9. It's obviously very simple in terms of how it looks, but the spacing was good. The, the pace of that whole rush was really nice as well. Yeah, I want to I say that's the Astralis one we saw from the Major, when they were just full rushing the B site, the wall smokes in the back, the heaven smoke, all just being thrown from super far and everyone just aggressing to kill people in the pit. Singularity definitely was not ready for that. The scary thing now as well is, you know, how do you actually... How do you use these two orbs? Because you've got to be very fast plays to be... Mixol's got himself an AWP now. The MP9 is coming out in the Deagle. So definitely a dangerous round for Singularity, or rather for Cloud9 against Singularity, but... I need to wipe out these orbs. Quick smoke to progress quickly to control of sewers. Looking for that jumpy automatic. And there's three men around the B bomb side here. Here's a boost with Bone alone with the orb on this boost. I feel like a rifle is generally better on these boosts in that at these ranges. They're gonna hear that scope. It's gonna bait a player into the spot and wow. input it on the other <laughs> side. These orbs, these double orbs seem to just work together. And it, it's really worked. That was incredible. That was Really well played by them. The way Infinite <laughs> just ran in and got that second kill. Yeah, great awareness, decisiveness. Very fast decision, but maybe there is a chance. Tens popping Stella. He will remove himself from vision. Looking for a lineup of some description. Pone lane will deal with the toilet somewhat and have a look towards long. Doesn't want to go too deep, which was quite smart. He was walking into an AWP angle to jump peek and some information will be had. You would expect this to be a slow one from Cloud9. They're, they are praying that there is an overpeak. Here come the grenades now. Creating some space smoke. for themselves. It missed. This is so scary for Pone alone. He misses Ooh, that shot, days. but Infinite's gone towards the bathrooms, which they may not expect. It's honestly quite a bold play that you just push that with the op solo. The bomb goes down safe from this position. So it looks like he's not going to be much of a factor, at least initially. In this, just holding position, holding peaks for Ben to get close. That's a great pop onto tens. And now there's just two. One at long, and they know where he is. Has to be forced through, and he gets a double. Now it's down to oh. infinite. He's looking for Daps. Will Daps go for the peak? Oh no! I think he's I think he had that if he actually pulls the trigger. And instead he goes down through the spray, through the wall. That's a shame for the singularity. I can't believe Mixwell just Ran through that molly and got gets a double to That's save nuts. the round. That's so insane. And it's broken the money too. Yeah. What a play by Nixwell. The bait with the scope, the punish with the second peak from Infinite, and the double from Mixwell. Very nice lineup. angle from Daps. Yeah. And that's put Singularity on Eco, so now there's a chance. We see the odds growing. I don't know though, man. There's still kind of very nervous times. From round to round, things keep turning around. Unlikely, of course, in this situation, but there's another pot flash play here from Singularity looking to burst through the bogs. Shadow advantage, so good. Don't line up to do it through the smoke instead, but very passive start from Cloud9. There are no sound cues from Singularity, probably waiting for one to deploy this flashback. But um, Cloud9 trying to invite a response with the smoke towards toilets. Can be redone by Mixwell. He's close enough to do it from the playground. And throw to I know it's something divider. really small, but I like how Singularity approaches these ecos where someone like Ben Lee has this flash. He's probably the in-game leader. <laughs> all these four players are just gathered up. They all bought nothing. So they're fully believing in like whatever the in-game leader says. Not one of them isn't going to buy like a deagle and be like, all right, I'm going to go play B. That's actually so common when you watch these up-and-coming teams play. It's like someone not buying into the round or like a given call. And I haven't seen that when I watch them. Oh boy, it is dealt with. They held on to that flashbang for so long, 40 seconds or so, left on the clock, and the pop flash comes in from Cloud9. So smart. 
I wonder if that was just a feeling. Maybe next time they went by into the round one. Maybe not. <laughs> Doing it my way now. Yeah, that'd be funny. But at this point, you know, they've they've uh, got this far too. So yeah, I definitely respect it. Honestly, whenever you can look at a team and see what they're trying to do, because you look at all five players and you look at what they're doing on the map and you think, see, oh, all five players are working towards this goal. Yeah. It's just that's just always so rewarding to see, as a as a observer of the match. So I'm, I'm liking that. There's like a clear yeah. storyline there. They're trying to go for a play. Sure, it doesn't work out this time, but they're all on the same page at least. Like that sounds like I'm just basically saying like water is wet. Like every <laughs> every good team does that. That's not the case actually. Like when you watch most teams at Singularity's level in NA, that's not the case. You'll typically see you know, like a star playing do player doing whatever he wants on a given round. Like over buying on those eco rounds instead of full saving. And there's lots of examples of, you know, top level teams doing it as well. Um, yeah. So so it's not a surprise because there are examples where hey that actually works out at the top level. You give your stars some freedom and it's very loosey goosey. But yeah, I like to see that everyone's kind of together with that plan and another buy round for both teams. And this is a pretty pivotal moment in the match because Singularity don't have an orb. They won't have much money. They have to save again if they lose this, and then Cloud9 obviously get to wait, and they start to really take over this half. Infidus found a really deep push there towards the playground, and I wonder if we'll find a timing towards these fountain players of Cloud9. You've got two players pushing, and we might have Daps actually rotating around, so it could be a catch to be had. No, actually, so sorry, I misread the map there. Daps is towards Monster, any so... Needs, they're dead. They're Through not. The smoke. Daps gets deleted. But wow, this is so unlucky. Yeah. It's walking it. Whoa. Oh, wow. From the B-bomb site. anti <laughs> That is quite the smoke grenade. Whoever found that, yeah, respect. Back. But maybe it's a new one. His timing, it could be so, so epic. Oh, boy. This is great timing. Here he goes. Goes for it straight away, finds the one, looking for at least the second. He can just hold on to this position, and they're forced into the bomb site. They know they have to go because of the pressure of the flank. Mixwell takes infinite down, but there's 30 seconds to plant the bomb. There's still a player on the bomb site. There's another one, it's Ben, who's towards the stairs as well. So right now it's very difficult to play made with the flashbang. And looks like Colonel alone looked the wrong way. The fake to draw out a player, and there are the trades. One versus one, Mixwell goes for the safe plant. Does he know where Stella is? Did he hear a jump? Oh, I think he's got him. Oh, he's seen him, but can he get him? Oh, his head, his cap. One side to another, and Mixwell will finally deliver. Third kill in a round, and he's broken the back of Singularity once again. Put them in Eco Town. That was a nice recovery from Cloud9 with a flank from Infinite. It's really hard to play those flanks. Like, it's hard to know how committed you should be sometimes. Because yeah. sometimes you need to commit really hard, and sometimes you just, like, want to. Like, just delay to have the yeah. threat. Like, sometimes that player in mix wall scenario runs to help his team take the site, and if you just commit up, you win the round. Other times, he's not helping his team at all, and if you just stood there and did nothing, you probably win the round. Mm -hmm. And that was that case right there. <laughs> yeah. But really, you can't blame Infinite for dying right there. Never it's one just, perfect decision, yeah. really. Yeah, he looked like he played it as well as he could. Minute 30, and there are pistols out again. And then uh, there's, once more, there's that one flashbang for Ben Leet. Ben Leet. Deliver the board out you. Connector can be a problem when you are against an eco half by force by. Now Infinite's got a Krieg. Krieg has been lost. That is a problem. You could choose to deal with the problem or avoid the problem. Big fan of this, just the walk all the way up. And now there's problems, forced into tens this position. Ben goes down. And maybe they want to save the Kevlar at this point. I'm not sure what they want to do, but they at least should save the Krieg. It'll be max loss bonus, but still save the Krieg. Krieg's are good. We like Kriegs. Just want to let it be known. Cloud9 has not bought an AK in the last two maps that I know of. And I'm pretty sure they didn't buy one in the first map. 
I have never seen a team not buy an AK an entire best of three. <laughs> Surely that hasn't happened anytime recently. I respect that. Buy the better weapon. It's pretty crazy. That has to be some like crazy analysis by Valens or something. Yeah, just tr trying to give themselves the the best advantage possible. Yeah. There's comfort with the AK, but there's a better gun with the Krieg. Your professionals, after all, use the Krieg. It's it's really weird because there are some spots like in a really fast moving rounds, I f you know I want to have the AK. Like if I'm like rushing into the A bomb side of Mirage or something, I kind of want the AK. Why? But if it's a slower round, just because the um, it's a comfort with the spray. Firstly, um, and and secondly, it's just a it's still like a f familiarity thing. Whereas the Krieg, I feel like I want to play the advantages of the Krieg in slower rounds. There's so many extra additional angles I can take that I wouldn't want to take as much with a, an AK. So I feel like it just gives me more options. Fire's faster. And it's slower rounds. The Krieg? Yeah. yeah. You just need to get, get good. Get good. Get good. So do I. Ooh. Oh dear. Someone fell off the stack. You ruined everything. The train's going to be blocking him. Just what a mess. Yeah, they could look just for the jump peak now. Well, oh. get the jump peak off the single scope. Not bad. Yeah, but you know where everybody is. Yep. And well, let's see if they take advantage of it. They've got. Yeah, you still need to get frags though. There it is. Yeah, you, know, you have zero map control and you'll just get deleted everywhere. This is how I feel like the appropriate response by the time you still need to land your frags. If it makes his way out of the connector position, one minute on the clock, three versus three for Cloud9. So perhaps there are advantages, but again, the CTs could be in any aggressive spot, really. It's. Uh, I suppose there's a risk that there's one lurker somewhere, but it generally hasn't been. If you look at the teams who have made that play, there isn't that um, that last player doesn't really stray too far after the boost comes through. It puts a lot to chance, really. This could have gone very badly for Cloud9. And well, the Maddox found position on the A-bomb side, at least. Stella is near with an AWP. Daps to run distraction towards B, keep the rotation away. And it, oh, so that was abandoning the site. Okay, they, they, they must have been a call that it was going to be just guaranteed to be the B-bomb site. Daps will go down, and now they'll hear the bomb be planted on B. So despite dying, Daps may have really just helped his team win this round. It's not a great plant, though. That's actually a very good point. It's a terrible plant for them. Who's playing the front side? I would say Cloud9 would be favored in this round. That's... <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, he's got some work to do, but he recovers enough. It still works out, as long as it works. Yeah, and there's a comfort with the uh, spray of the AK you were talking about that. Should we get a slow-mo of that? Anyone, anyone want to see that? Why would we do that, John? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Beautiful, right. intense. I like how he shoots to change his position rather than pressing QQ, which is slower. Or scope scope. Or MP9s and then off. Yeah, it's a rough spot. Moving accuracy, fire rates, all well and good. But require more than one shot to the head. That's a big HE though. That could be a difference maker, but the flashbangs will limit what they can do. Can't see, hard to shoot. There goes another one. Three players remain. Two MP9s and the AWP for Singularity. It's the last round of the first half, and then there were two. Two MP9s left. We've got one in a short B position. Running out of bullets, though, not getting one frag. Can Robbie follow up? He can on one play, running out of bullets as well. And it will be an 11-4 scoreline. A landslide of rounds from Cloud9 in the first half. They're only five rounds away from closing this out. We'll see if they can do it after the break.
Hello and welcome back. This is the last half, and this is overtimes, of today. Had a long day of Counter-Strike. Cloud9 have had a long best of three. A best of three which has not looked great for them. However, they are looking like they're closing it off with some strength. Looking better here on Overpass in general. And now Singularity move on to the T side. And we haven't seen great T sides except for Dust2 for Singularity. So I am wondering if this will go well for them or not. I will say we said 10s needed to step up. 17 for X first half. Not bad. Not bad at all, but can it continue in the second half? Not long to find out. No PT-50 for Singularity. Charging up the long position, soon to be heard at least, by Mixwell. And may be seen. There is one flash for Daps. Often found with a smoke and a diffuse kit. This time it will be a flash and a diffuse kit. And, uh, oh, it's matchmaking straps. Go up long, go through connector in towards the B bomb site. Bomb seen immediately by automatic. And indeed, there is a flash on this bomb site. There is a flash in front of the pillar. Out automatic comes looking for another frag. Fishing for something, but not getting much of anything. Ten's taken out. Nothing for him to do in this round. Kusta Mixwell and Daps remain three versus four. Singularity in post plant positions. Cloud9 still moving in. Oh, very, very free. Got to put this one back in the training room, it seems. Robbie and Infinite now wondering where their advantage has gone. Two versus two. Daps is low, but he's got a kit in tow. And uh, Robbie with two headshots will be enough for a pistol round for Singularity. Five rounds for them. Just seems so crazy. It seemed like C9 had such a good read right there, right? Yeah, and even with the opening kill for free. Boost, a good pop flash. Eyes are coming up sandbags. Even in this situation, it's like, okay. Back to being kind of favored again. I feel like, uh, you know, Automatic kind of wasn't focused on his second engagement. Yeah. Because he, he was just completely missing. Yeah. And he was kind of spamming. And he had a lot of time to, to take that shot. And Those are going to change soon. Yeah, I, I think there's definitely a way in here for Singularity for sure. The, that, oh. Those are not fair odds. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Yeah, that's going to be pre-pistol. Okay, good start here. Kusta, though, will drop one the trade is through one more to go from long it's automatic we know how dangerous he is it's off a shot connection onto robbie he's robbie's sticking around there trying to play the extra so position dangerous. i cannot I, believe he just stayed there yeah there's absolutely no reason to do that although they don't have access to the bomb automatic's kind of holding the line to get the bomb so they will eventually take him down they're not really afraid to fight are they this is interesting um, Daps could get, get a rifle here if the creep continues from Stella. Not giving the sound cues away. Daps starting to wander now. Singularity very spread out, but... Well, they have time now. That might not... It might not stay that way. I think he's a good, in a good position on short. Stella continues to move around. And the bomb will quietly do the same now. Walking through the monster tunnel while Infinite's just... Protecting weapons, I presume. Expecting that Daps might make a play for them. This is winnable. Spawns alone. He's going to let it be planted. Surely not. There we go. There's no idea what else is happening. What is Infinite Why? doing? Why? Is he oh so far my away? goodness. He's going to get flanked there. Ooh, the 180. Imagine if that door's not open, though. That's, Jeez. you know... It's... Yeah, that's a yikes. There's no real reason for the bomb to be alone. Obviously, they called that the site was clear, but obviously short was just not checked at all. So it wasn't even a heaven plant, even though he had a teammate push spawn. Right. He could have had that teammate clear heaven. It was just very yeah, sloppy. The yeah, there's there's been a there's been a few holes in the uh, in the game of singularity like this, um, but. Perhaps it's early days for this particular roster. And they can easily be fixed fixed pretty quickly in the uh, in the short term. If they put the work in, if they put the time in. Oversight's on overpass. Oh dear. Ten is gonna get a free kill with that boost. Unpunished. And that's never a good sign. The bomb is quite at uh, T spawn still. Oh no, not again. No. <laughs> Automatic. No, no. How many free kills has he got with the Deagle? That's two kills from that boost. With different players boosted up. That's not a good look for Singularity. These rounds have to be a bit cleaner. Ben is moving towards the A bomb site, but there's a rotation of Cloud9 players, so they will have, will have a defense hit. 
Deagle just facing the Deagle like that at range with the back 10. What are you doing? Okay. Pone alone there to control the situation. Out comes the smoke. Getting caught from what he thinks is behind it. Forces him to miss the smoke. Causes him, I should say. This is, ex this is extremely worrying right now for Singularity. The, the level of stress must be so high. Oh, they're going to jump through the smoke. It's perfect for Pone alone. He's got the back 10. <laughs> oh, my goodness. An ace is they, required. They don't deserve it. They don't, they deserve, don't it. deserve it. They don't deserve and it. And the reason why they don't deserve it is because they know this round is a full eco. Cloud9 just invested in the prior round. What are they doing running, clearing water? That's like the one place you would go on a full eco. It's like water connector control. They're going to rush clear that for what reason? Like what? I mean, they're not even doing anything with it. They're just kind of lollygagging around and getting boosted on. Yeah, it's kind of like they're just trying to run their default. Yeah, they're just trying to like reason. run a default on a full eco round. It was very weird. Not many teams approach full ecos like that. And it was a default where they're, which they're running, which didn't have anyone to even punish the boost, yeah. which is what a default will, would have or yes. should have. Like this, for example. Meanwhile, their other player was just walking into Ace. Yeah, very bizarre. At least, at least win the round. You know, Pone alone gets himself a Ace. But when you when you mention all, all those kind of issues and the other glaring issues we've seen for their team, they're still in a third map of Cloud9. Yeah. So yeah. What does that mean for Cloud9? Indeed. I mean, these players are still really high, highly skilled. And I think... They, they're actually more organized on their gun rounds, which is crazy. Yeah, I still need a, some discipline, some order, some drills, some focus. Oh, great timing. timing on that flash. Yeah. Good stuff. It's like when when you see Astralis do that, you don't think anything of it. Yeah. But it's actu it actually is obviously difficult to get those timings right. I don't necessarily expect it from Singularity. And there's a pot flash play, an information play towards Suez. Now, Singularity know what that means. They have to speed it up because Cloud9 are already rotating. Can they beat them to the punch on the site? They will force Mixwell back, or maybe not. He's got to fight because the Molotov is there. And Kusa's going to help defend. And it's falling apart. Infinite is absolutely screwed here. They know where he is. Oof, trying to get out of there. Not a good spot for Singularity. That Rabbit one information aggression. play just ruined everything for them. Yeah, that's crazy. They had the five on four. That could have made it a five on three. I and mean, you definitely forced probably two people to play B at that point. Yeah, the round plays out totally different. Automatic goes down in that spot. That was a huge frag by him. Okay, so Cloud9, they're taking control of the game now, potentially, if they can uh, also clean up this one without too much issue. Go for the quick peek. Goes Ben. Give it a full bag. They're going to fight this one out and they're going to hit their shots. So there you go. Simple affair. 13 7. Is this the end of the story? We're getting close to the end of the line. Does Singularity have some life left in them? Orb comes out on Pone Alone. <laughs> Pone Alone is just a funny name. It's a great name. I love it. Pone Alone. And he has pwned much alone. Like that ace with the Mac 10. Well, we're getting that. Cloud9 now, three rounds away. <laughs> just the whole word pwn is yeah. just so <laughs> ridiculous. It's like, it just makes me laugh, actually. It's amazing. The classics are coming out. Can we get, like, remember K Thanks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. K Thanks and KTHX. I just miss the old clan tags with the minus equals bracket oh, God. on either side. I miss those days. First initial, last name. Yeah. Alias. Inside parentheses or something. <laughs> <laughs> One team tried to do that in CSGO and it just was just it was just impossible. It's like please. <laughs> it's not tennis. Tennis? Six round lead for Cloud9. Looking to close things out. Ooh, does he go for it, Kusta? The timing. There's one, but Connector. Oh, he's almost managed to escape around the corner, but surely he was doomed. Mixwell spots one from the long position. Is there a race towards the A bomb site? Looks like there is. Singularity 
creeping up, one player looking, but there's players on the side to deal with as well. Automatic blind for the time being. Won't realize that somebody's on the truck. Mix for almost seeing him. Who's gonna see who first? The smoke starts to go up now. Grenades. Automatic knows one's on the truck. There's the spray. Oh no, they've all fallen back here. This <laughs> yeah, is actually well. a huge issue because the bomb. Are they, okay, so Cloudland don't have a smoke, but they have a kit. And oh my god, can anyone get there? Oh, he's in vision. You gotta shoot him. Oh no. Oh no, that's such a disaster. Oh no. I don't I don't know how I feel about planning on top of the truck. Yeah. On top of Optimus. I mean if somebody yeah. was dead it's, it's as though they thought it was a dice plant, because everyone yeah. felt so far back. I mean there's still like three Cloud9 players by the site. That was so weird. That was they mu they must have miscalled the plan or something. Yeah. I can't even believe he was able to get it off. I was actually quite impressed that he went for an instant plan. I was like, yeah, yeah that's pretty nice. But <laughs> then they all just left the bomb site. Okay. Cool, I guess. <laughs> well, here we are. Two rounds away now, Cloud9. Two AWPs, Cloud9. Only two pairs of players for Singularity. They've lost Pone alone. <laughs> Pone alone. They're really trying to bring back some like old school stuff. You got the lead speak from Ben, and Pone is like something that came uh, came about on the internet in, like two thousand and one. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like it's yeah, pretty it's, old school, man. That yeah. is crazy. They have the lead and the Pone. It's very late in the day for Pone alone. Lead Ponage. Oh God! Bring out the knife. Get it in there. Just, just a quick stab. Shove it in there. Oh, he wants to find one through the gap. Before they can respond, he finds two Kusta. Great discipline not to pull out the knife. Looking for maximum damage. And Stella is left with 5 HP. HP not looking so stellar anymore, you might say. He has the bomb. He's got a one-man rotation. He moves up. They know how low he is. Doesn't matter. AWP finishes off the job. And it's match point for Cloud9. It's been a long journey for them to get here. I did wonder if they could even do it. And that is one more round to win. You need to say great discipline, James, because you're 100% knifing that. It depends. Does it, it depends. I don't no. know. You're, you're definitely taking a knife. Yeah, you're definitely you. knifing him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have the vision to look through the gap to f try and find another kill there. So I'm really not sure. But there's a fair chance. Let's say You'd that. wait so that you could knife first and then pull out the rifle and kill someone afterwards. You but literally might try to him. knife one and then go through the door and knife another. All this judging. If I tried that, I'd probably succeed, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Oh, I've made a terrible oh. mistake. Voice heaven's not smoked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that one before. And here comes the massacre into the abattoir. The meat hooks are out and Singularity are hanging from them. There's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the B-bomb site. Kuz has got the angles and then it was Stella versus three. There we go. Cloud9 finish off the job. A difficult game for them. We wanted to see where they were. Not sure they're in the right place right just yet, but they come out with a W here in their first game of the bracket. Yeah, this is a pretty decent performance. Uh, in this last map for Cloud9, it kind of helps redeem them a little bit from the previous two maps. But I have to say, Singularity, they were they put themselves in a lot of good positions, but they had some weird misplays that actually cost them some critical rounds. And e even, for example, that round where they just leave the bomb alone in the 3v3 where they took the site, you know, I, I wonder what would happen if they... I don't know what it, whether, whether it was a missed call or what happened, but I wonder what happens if they win rounds like that. I mean, we just saw Mixwell had so many key rounds in that first half. I think Singularity could have walked away in that first half with like nine rounds if things went differently in those two clutch scenarios that Mixful won. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. You know, they lost those rounds and their economy struggled because of that. And they, di they definitely didn't have what it took on the T side. Here is the bitter end for Singularity. Cloudline, it was hard, but they toppled Singularity eventually. And there we go. So w what are our thoughts on where Cloud9 are at the moment? It's a little sketchy mm. um, that they picked Nuke, and that's what we saw at their T side. Yeah. I think their CT side looked really strong. Maybe that, that went well for them in the boot camps. Maybe they won more engagements on T side with lower ping on LAN or something. Um, 
But yeah, their T side left a lot to be desired on Nuke. Overpass pretty good. Definitely were bailed out by Mixwell a couple times, but I don't know, that's about it. Dust 2, obviously. Yeah, lots of building to be done for Cloud9. And they have uh, more chance to do that in ECS as they did win, so they'll be playing. We can have a look at... Uh, oh, no, no, no. We've got the HyperX play of the game to come before we get into the uh, the bracket and things. So let's see what was chosen here. I honestly have no idea. That was quite uh, some madness. Oh, automatic with the Deagle. Boy, did he get some Deagle kills in this series overall. Got way too much out of this. Almost the ace, but I think Mixwell got the last kill here. Yeah, indeed. So congratulations, Automatic. He did a lot for Cloud9 in that game. But again, there's plenty more building to be done. So I believe we can look at the bracket now and see how the results of today have gone. MIBR versus ATK will be the next at the top of the bracket. INTZ losing 2-0, having lost some players themselves. And Sharks are back, baby. And if Cloud... I mean, it's Ooh. weird because I want to say if Cloud9 are in that form, they may lose to Sharks. But Sharks have, have had night and day performances. Sometimes it looks amazing. Sometimes they really have uh, had a lot of issues. So that one is going to be a, a real 50-50. But here are the uh, matches to come in the North American bracket. And that's going to bring our action to a close for today. Once again, there are cups on the Face It platform to check out as well. So make sure you go and have a look at that. There are points and prizes to be won at faceit.com. And again, if you don't have premium already, go to your subscriptions, go into your coupon codes and put in ECS7 and you'll get a seven day premium subscription for free. You're welcome. We will see you back here tomorrow with for more Counter-Strike action. Thank you, Sean, for the excellent presence today. Thank you, Dan, for turning up. That's always a help. And we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we should really end every...